WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento, uh, and we're going to take a look at the mid-morning update. We're halfway through the battle today, and we've got a little bit of a volatility. The Dow was down 250. It was then up 600 and then back to up just 100, and so it's been all over the map. The S&P has already trans um, gone up and down over 200, 200 handles, folks. That's $10,000 today. It went from 07 up to 97, 97 down to 37, 37 up to 87, up and down, up and down, up and down all over the map. We're seeing bonds selling off a little bit. Uh, the Treasury rates are still going higher, which is a sign that there's a possibility of a recession on the horizon, and there's all things going on. And also, we've had a big move in gold yesterday, $40 down, $50 ups. So we've had a $100 move in gold here. Uh, in the last uh, 24 hours, which uh, tells you that some people are looking for some kind of a vehicle that will give them a little bit of uh, gauge, I guess, against inflation. I don't know if that's it or not, but to see that big of a move is, is really, uh, really quite amazing. Now, the chart that I have posted here in the room today for you folks is a chart of the weekly S&P, and we are sticking with our target down there at uh, 3175 uh, that's where we'll complete a three drive to a bottom pattern and we'll be setting right at the 61 percent retracement of the low that we made back uh, in the COVID era which was 2019 that's what this goal happens to be but we are having tremendous volatility up and down we saw some of it of course on Tuesday with the market moving a thousand points in the Dow Jones in a matter of three hours you know, they didn't say that it went up for uh, three hours, up 700 points before going down 1,000 points. They don't mention that it had a 1,600-point swing. But those of you that, like we are, that follow these, yes, it did have that big, biggest swing. So we're having great volatility here. Make sure you use stops, folks. News could come out of left field, right field, center field, or from behind the catcher. Who knows what's going to happen because uh, these markets are very, very nervous, as they should be. We've got a lot of things going on in the world, you know, with Ukraine, China, elections. I mean, just everything is just all coming together at once, and it's not going to be easy to transmit this stuff to folks. So we'll be right back 